I'm Kevin Maroney and I am Associate Professor of Liturgics in the H. Boone Porter Chair here at General Seminary and I am also the director of this magnificent chapel and I oversee the day-to-day -day operations here. One of the unique things about General Seminary is of course its location here in Chelsea, in Manhattan, in the largest city in the country and that gives us opportunities for theological formation and training that not everybody has. General Seminary was profoundly influenced um, by the Anglo-Catholic movement in the 19th century. There's a layer of that that continues through to this day. General Seminary was also profoundly influenced by the liturgical movement of the 20th century. There's a strong layer of that that runs through it. General Seminary has also been profoundly involved in the various liberation movements of the last 70, 80 years, uh, whether it is uh, civil rights, uh, gender equality rights, uh, human sexuality rights, you know, across the board, marriage equality. General Seminary has always stood strong with those who are uh, seeking a full partnership in the church and in the society. And so that, that comes through. You know, I, I schedule the preachers in this chapel and I always want to make sure that there is a balance of representation that everyone is heard here. Again, I, I arrived here 30 years ago in August of 1989. I came as a junior MDiv student from the Diocese of New Jersey. In 2015, the General Convention passed a resolution calling for the Standing Commission on Liturgy and Worship to draw up a process for revision of the prayer book. And what's been publicized about it the most is that they created the Task Force for Liturgical and Prayer Book Revision. And I'm honored to have been appointed to that, and we've been holding meetings for about six months now. I have a class here called Everything But the Prayer Book. In that class, one assignment is they all had to write a creative liturgy that they didn't think was being adequately provided for in our other resources. And they have turned them in and they've received my edits and the edited versions will be forwarded to the task force because the task force is seeking. So here's a class here at General Seminary that will actually be forwarding some of uh, the new creative liturgies to the national task force. Uh, one of the jokes I have about liturgy in general is here you get more liturgy for the lira. Uh, you can come here and take a, a whole collection of liturgy courses, but we also have worship here in the chapel twice a day. And one of the things that really sets us apart as a seminary is the work that we do in the classroom and the work that we do in the chapel are very closely integrated. One of the liturgy courses I teach is a summer course, it's called Sacred City, and we spend half our time here on campus. It's a church architecture course where in the mornings we'll sit out on the clothes in, in Adirondack chairs and we will read good books about architecture and sacred architecture and the different theologies that have informed them uh, through the centuries, through the 2,000 years. And then we go out into the city to see and experience examples of the, of the architectural forms that we just studied in the morning. It's a wonderful way to take good, solid, theological, liturgical course content, but see how it has taken shape in the greatest city in the world.